Kenyatta won a second five-year term on October the 26th in a repeat presidential election boycotted by opposition leader Raila Odinga, who said it would not be free and fair. The Supreme Court nullified the first presidential election, in August, over irregularities. The extended election season has divided Kenya, a Western ally in a volatile region, and blunted growth in East Africa's richest economy. Supporters of Kenyatta, who won with 98% of the vote after Odiga's boycott, are urging the opposition to engage in talks and move on. Our responsibility after the political competition is to come together and work to build the nation, Kenyatta told the church service on Sunday. Tens of thousands of Kenyatta's supporters, clad in the red and yellow Jubilee party colors and carrying Kenyan flags, arrived at the stadium on Tuesday where the inauguration will take place. I am sure you Hiro will be able to bring people together and unite them so we can all work for the country, said Eunice Jerobo, a trader who traveled overnight from the Rift Valley town of Cap Sabit. Odiga supporters say such talk of unity is tantamount to surrender. They accuse the ruling party of stealing the election, rampant corruption, directing abuse by the security forces and neglecting vast swathes of the country. A return to the political backwardness of our past is more than unacceptable. It is intolerable. This divide cannot be bridged by dialogue and compromise, Odiga's National Super Alliance Opposition Alliance said in a statement. A Reuters team at the scene of a planned rally said it had been sealed off by dozens of police. Two water cannons were standing by setting the stage for a confrontation if opposition supporters tried to gather.